Today's episode is brought to you in part by Survival Radio Network. Survival Radio Network is the source for news, entertainment, and talk radio. Go to SurvivalRadioNetwork.us to listen today. SRN Survival Radio Network. Today's episode is brought to you in part by Next Generation Speakers Magazine. Next Generation Speakers Magazine has tools, tips, and techniques to take your speaking to the next level. Next Generation Speakers Magazine, who's got next? Hi, this is Sakona Prince of SakonaPrince.com, where we make motivation personal. We're introducing you to yourself. And I told you I was going to have all of our Are You Climbing the Wrong Mountain Summit workshop facilitators. And this week I have the interview I did with none other than Kevin Moeller. Kevin's going to tell you a little bit about himself and what he's going to be sharing at the summit. Hey, check this out. Well, I told you I was going to have all of our Are You Climbing the Wrong Mountain Summit workshop facilitators. And this week I have a treat for you. None other than my good friend, Kevin Moeller. He's going to tell you a little bit about himself and about what he's going to be sharing at his workshop at the summit. Kevin, over to you. Well, Sikoni, thank you so much. Appreciate you having me. And guys, excited to be here. Excited to share with you a little bit about my background, my story, and and what I'm going to be sharing with you at this incredible, incredible summit event. By the way, I cannot wait to learn from all of the different presenters and workshop facilitators that we have coming to this stellar event. I'm going to be taking notes myself on the front row. I'm so excited to be there and excited to be uh, there with you, Sikoni. So a little bit about me, my background. Uh, I'm from South Alabama. My background is a construction worker. We built large-scale custom-built houses here in South Alabama, and I hated it. I worked in the heat. I worked in the cold. Rainy days, I didn't get a paycheck, and I didn't want to do that for the rest of my life. There were a lot of injuries on job sites, and uh, it was, you know, just a, a treadmill. And I don't know if you can ever relate to feeling like you're running extremely fast in some area of your life, but going absolutely nowhere. Uh, we like to refer to it this summit as climbing, climbing the wrong mountain. Uh, that's what I was doing. And I was climbing extremely fast, but going absolutely nowhere. And so I decided to enroll in college because that's what the world told me to do. I went 15 credit hours a semester, five nights a week, literally 20 hours a week worth of classes. Um, it, it really didn't have a life. I mean, I was working construction during the daytime still, going to college five nights a week, struggling to keep my grades up, no time for friends, no time for family. I missed all the family reunions. I missed important things in my life. And I did that for two and a half straight years until I actually started my first business. I had a mentor. I had people that started pouring into my life. I started going to events like this summit. I started opening up and expanding my mind and learning that there was actually a path to a better way in life. And I started being able to figure out and started to learn that I could choose which mountain I wanted to climb. And then I could find other people who had been there, done that, and were still doing it to teach me how to climb a new mountain. And so what happened for me drastically changed my life. It didn't seem like overnight at that particular point in time, but now certainly reflecting back 11 years ago when I said yes to becoming an entrepreneur, had no idea what I was doing. Seven months later, I quit the last job I ever had. Uh, At 21, was uh, making an executive level income. At 23, bought my first house, started to invest and start other companies. Own six companies today in many different industries. And it's been a blessing. And it has been a true transformation because it hasn't just been a a one-time event. It's been renewing my mind as we find in scripture, not renewal, not a one-time thing, but consistently showing up and getting better and figuring out what we can do to change our lives. That's what I did. And that's what I continue to do. And what I'm looking forward to sharing with you at this summit, particularly is a, uh, is a, not just a story. It is some learning and some examples and some tangible things that you can apply to drastically change your life. And let me just share with you why this is so important. Some of the content that I'm particularly going to be sharing is because whether you realize this or not, scientists have discovered that literally 97% of the decisions that you and I make every single day is not done consciously. It's done subconsciously. And if 97% of the decisions that we make, these are the decisions that determine our life. These are the decisions that determine our marriage, our families, our finances, our future, our spirituality, our education. These are the decisions that shape our lives and 97% of them we're not in control of. How do we change that 97%? How do you change your subconscious programming? There are things that you believe right now and that I believe right now that are serving us well. There's things that we believe right now that are not serving us well. And those are deeply embedded in the mind. And so how do we actually work on those things? When I rewind 11 years ago, I remember thinking things that were not true. Things like 
Kevin, you're too young to be an entrepreneur. You're too young to be successful. You don't live in an area that's affluent. Your parents, your, your dad has a 10th grade education, dropped out of school. Your mom's a nurse. You're never going to amount to anything big. What are you thinking about starting your own business? You're a construction worker. You're a college student. Those were some of the thoughts that I had in my subconscious mind. And thank God I figured out a way to change those self-defeating thoughts and to turn them into positive thoughts that enabled me to drastically change my life and continue to do so today. Because the Kevin you see today is drastically different than the Kevin 11 years ago. But let me tell you something. I'm still becoming a prototype of the future Kevin. I am still climbing the mountain. I am still working on education. I am still working on myself to get better every single day. And I cannot wait to share with you what I've learned over the last 11 years is going to be so much fun. But I also, guys, I cannot wait to learn from all of the summit speakers that are coming to this incredible, incredible life-changing event. I'm coming ready for me to learn. And I'm coming also to share what little bit that I have learned with the people there. So, Sikoni, that's my story. That's what I'm coming to share. I'm looking forward to it, sir. I'll turn it back to you. Well, as you heard, Kevin is ready to share his incredible story and all the information that he's learned over the years. And I'm, I'm ready to learn from him as well. So if you haven't done so already, you can go to ClimbTheRightMountain.com. That's right, ClimbTheRightMountain.com and get your tickets to this life-changing summit. And meet us in New Orleans, October 18th and 19th. And it's going to be an incredible time that's going to change your life forever. We look forward to seeing you there, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Well, now you understand why I'm so excited to have all of these people at the summit. The workshop facilitators are going to set your life afire with the information that they share. And you want to be at this summit. If you haven't done so already, go to ClimbTheRightMountain.com. That's ClimbTheRightMountain.com and get your tickets to this life-changing summit. And we'll see you in New Orleans, Louisiana, October 18th and 19th, 2019. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. the last time you felt satisfied with your career? When was the last time you were excited about your small business? If you have ever experienced any of these emotions, then you owe it to yourself to attend the Are You Climbing the Wrong Mountain Summit, October 18th and 19th, 2019 in New Orleans, Louisiana. This annual summit is in its fourth year of helping business professionals just like you gain clarity in their career field, increase productivity in their companies, and realize greater fulfillment in their life. Go to ClimbTheRightMountain.com and invest in your future today.